In this example, the municipal gas company used the following function for computing their consumers' monthly gas bills. The C of X for the cost function is defined as 0 0.37 X plus 3. If X is strictly greater than 0, less than or equal to 2, uh, less than or equal to 24. X is defined as 0 0.78 X minus 6.84 if X is greater than 24. Where X is the number of terms or the more units used and CX is the cost in dollars. In part A, we're going to find limit of the cost function as X approaches 24 from the left. And part B, we're going to find the limit of the cost function as X approaching 24 from the right. And part C, we're going to find the limit of the function or the cost function as X approaches 24. So we look at A and B as one-sided limit. And then uh, part C is two-sided limit. In part A, as X approaches 24 from the left, it means X is going to be slightly less than 24. If it, it is slightly less than 24, the function will be defined as the one that I highlighted in yellow. I'm going to use the yellow marker for that one. Come back. We write it as the limit of the CX, which is 0 0.37X plus three as X approaches 24 from the left. And this is a polynomial function. We can find the limit the same as the way that we compute the function value where X is 24. So 0 0.37 multiplied by 24 plus three. And then the number comes out to be $11.88. dollars Next, we're gonna move to the second part of part B where x approaches 24 from the right, that means x is slightly greater than 24. If x is slightly greater than 24, the function divided as the one that I highlighted in green. This is the same as the limit of the function 0 0.78 times x minus 6.84. As x approaches 24 from the right, Again, this is another polynomial fun function. So we find the limit the same as the way that we compute the function value. 0 0.78 multiplied by 24 minus 6.84. And the number comes out to be 11.88, the same as the left-sided limit. In part C, we're going to compute the two-sided limit by condition of the two-sided limit to be able to exist. When the left hand limit or the limit of the CX as X approaches 24 from the left, the same as the limit from the right or the limit of the CX as X approaches 24 from the right here. In part A and part B, they turn out to be the same number. That means the two-sided limit does exist and the same as 11.88. 